Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the Safari tab style layout on your macOS device. Following this process will allow you to switch between the traditional layout and also the more compact layout on Safari for Mac, which allows you to really clean up your Safari for Mac experience depending on which style you prefer. It's a pretty simple process, so let's get straight into it. All right, so to do this process, you're gonna open up Safari here. And then what I'm going to do is demonstrate the traditional process, and then I'll show how you can change it to a more compact view. So if I open up a few tabs here, so we might go to apple.com, we might go to Google, YouTube, and maybe JB Hi-Fi, which is a local tech store, and the Sydney Morning Herald, the news site. And you'll see that all of these have loaded in here. And this is the traditional style of tab layout. So you can hover over it. It'll show you what the tab preview is. And then you can get an idea of what it is. And they're all just here with the text. Now to change this, what you're going to do is click on Safari up in the menu bar. And then click on settings. Alternatively, you can click command comma to open up settings as well. And what you're going to do is go into the tabs view up in this top bar. You can see tabs. You'll click that. Now, by default, it's on separate. As I said here, this is the traditional view that Safari has used for many years. But um, there's a new version here that you can use called Compact. Now, I'm not sure which version of macOS this came in. It was either Monterey or Ventura. One of the two, I'm pretty sure. But you can change this into the Compact view if you would like. And you'll see it's taken immediate effect up the top. Um, so if we then close out of the settings or just put it in the background, you'll see that this is the compact view where it sort of changes it and makes it more compact and just allows you to click on it and it shows the bar in there and then you can open it up to make changes there. So that's, it's sort of a nice sort of balance between being compact, um, but still having enough information and you can still hover over each of them and see what, you know, is happening and you've got some extra options here, as I've shown before, and then you can just close off the tab if you would like to. Now, that's an option there that you can use, and it's, you know, works decently well. Um, and if we go back into the settings, you'll see that we also have an option for always show websites titles in tabs. So we can turn that on or turn it off. So this is whether it will show the title of the website in the tabs, uh, you can force it on or just take it off. Um, so if we get switch back to the separate view, you can see it doesn't make any difference now, but sometimes there might be certain situations where it might hide the website title, for example, and you might want that to show all the time. So that's a good setting that you can turn on there. Also in this page, you can see whether open pages in tabs instead of windows, whether you want that to happen, you can change that between never, automatically and always. So that's whether you want to open up the new tab page in a new tab rather than a new window. So you can choose that there. I've already covered how to automatically close tabs on Safari for Mac OS. So if you'd like to see that video, I'll leave that linked up in the cards and in the description below. And there's also some navigation options here. So whether command clip opens a link in a new tab, that's on by default. Uh, when a new tab or windows opens, make it active, that's off by default. And then use command one to command nine to switch tabs, that is on by default. And it shows you the different command options here. So if you'd like me to go through any of these settings in more detail, let me know in the comments below. But that essentially covers today's topic of how to change the tab layout on Mac OS using Safari. So hopefully this was helpful and you've had some great success in changing it between separate and compact. And with that, thanks for watching this video on Unpacked Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.